As a nutritionist, I have become a bit of a dog food and treat nerd. So I'm gonna share five of my most important kibble toppers or things that you can boost the bowl. And the best part, everything mentioned in this video, including this awesome Snoop toy, will be linked in the description below, or it's gonna be something you already have in your home, making it super easy and affordable. The first item I love to add to the bowl or just give as a fun little treat, yes, are some of these herring air dried chews or treats. And these are packed full of one of the most important nutrients that our dogs often can be deficient or low in because it's something they have to get from their diet. And I find that a lot of foods don't have enough of this. And that is healthy omega-3. These are packed full of them. So I love throwing these on the bowl or touch giving them as a treat. And because they are air dried at lower temperatures, the nutrients are more bioavailable. These are also sustainably caught. I find that dogs with itchy skin, yeasty ears, or dogs that are becoming arthritic can really benefit from having some healthy omega-3s added in their diet from whole food sources, like something like this. You can even find herring or sardines completely raw at your local fish market, just get sustainably wild caught options. Oh my God, another thing that they love are these organic mini sweet peppers. These are not spicy. And what I love to do is to chop these up really fine or lightly steam them in just water. And then I like to put it on the bowl. There's some great vitamins and minerals in this. I just remove the stem and the seeds out of here or I'll just give us a crunchy treat. Sometimes I even freeze it. We did this with Wally when he was teething and he just loved it. So I'll just kind of tear these off and then I give it to him as a treat. Go boy. Good job. Now, another thing I love to add for anti-inflammation, turmeric. Turmeric is an excellent, super nutrient, anti-inflammatory supplement, which one I one of the brands I use is Kin and Kind. Again, it'll all be linked below, not sponsored or anything. I just really, really love this product. I put a little bit of this in there and this is completely organic, non-GMO, and the only ingredients are some healthy coconut, which is gonna have healthy medium chain fatty acids, great for skin and coat health, as well as organic turmeric and pepper to help activate it. So what you could do is sprinkle a little bit of this on top of the bowl based on their size. It has serving sizes on here based on their weight and add a little bit of warm water with that to activate it. Boom. This is an excellent way to help with overall health and antioxidant support. I really like something like this for senior dogs, uh, fast growing dogs, or super active dogs. Let's say you do agility or different kind of dog sports. I find that this can be really beneficial for joint support. Ooh, and this next one might be my top favorite or at least in the top three, simply because just a little bit can go a long way um, added to the bowl every single day. And this is bark boost, which is an organic green superfood nutrient blend of organic greens that are macerated and broken down for the dog, kind of like pre-digestion, so that the dog can actually extract and absorb the nutrients in it at the fullest possible potential. And these are soaked, and these are cold pressed, and they're soaked in grass-fed bone broth. It has things like kale, dandelion greens, and spinach, which are some of the most nutrient-dense options we can give to our dog. It also has celery, which has cancer-busting flavonoids, as well as zucchini, which is an excellent source of an enzyme responsible for protecting against oxidative stress. Hey you, it's me. Well, it's future me. I'm actually editing this video right now, and I just got a knock on the door, and look what they just dropped off. I started opening it, I'm not gonna lie. Figured I would jump in and do a quick unboxing. These are a monthly toy subscription box. This month is ice cream, which is so fun. Now the first box has the super chewer toys, which are for more super chewers and much more durable than a standard plush toy. They last forever. And look at this, this is a brain freeze because again, it's the ice cream theme. Look at this chocolate covered banana would be a great fetch toss toy. And then I love this. This is like the vanilla chocolate swirl that you would get at an ice cream shop, but it's it's meant to be good weight. It's meant to be like a ball and because it's shaped uniquely, it'll bounce erratically. So it'll be fun for fetch to keep them super engaged. Which one, which one do you think Finn will want? These are my two favorite. Good weight. Get it. He wants the brain. Oh, oh. He wanted the brain freeze. Oh, okay, there we go. Bentley, which one do you want? And then Bentley, I'm gonna give him the choice between the mint ice cream cone and the chocolate banana. 
He wants the mint ice cream cone. Okay, awesome. And then we have the regular Bark Box, and this is the more traditional plush toys. And the great thing with this is there is a special offer for you. It's linked in the description below, so you get special benefits. And look at the theme here. So cute. The toys in this one, they kind of outdid themselves. My absolute favorite is the ice cream cookie. Oh, Finn loves it. Finn loves plush toys. Now Finn can shred plush toys, which is why I'm a big fan of BarkBox because it takes him a lot longer if he's even able to do that. And they have toys like this one where when he does shred off the outer lining, if he's even able to, look at this. What is this, mint ice cream? Cup, cup of pup. Uh, there's a toy inside of it. So you can see here, it's a multi-part, oh, wait. Oh, yes, here we go. It's a multi-part toy. So if you do have a shredder, this can still be a really fun option for dogs. And then my last favorite one is, look at this, a Choco Taco, but a dog version, Choco Doggo. Oh wait, I just figured out this toy more thanks to Finn chewing on it. So this top ice cream part comes out and it actually flips so you can have chocolate with spring Looks like chocolate strawberry or like chocolate chip mint. Seriously, comment below what is your favorite flavor ice cream. You could even stuff this with some treats and then put this on for them to have to get out like an enrichment toy. And then there's an extra toy inside of here if they're even able to shred this off. So there's just a lot of elements to their toys to keep your dogs interested. And getting these new boxes every month is a fun way for us to interact together to give my dog something new and different to explore. Big thanks to BarkBox and Super Chewer for supporting our mission to save all the damn dogs by sponsoring this part of the video and by giving you a really awesome offer. Again, it's linked in the description below. Okay, let's just get back to the awesome supplements. Another thing that I love to do is take a bowl like this. This is a Licky Mat Wobble. Again, it'll be linked below. And what it is, is you can spread soft food on here. So you can actually soak your dog's kibble in water for 20 minutes to create a paste and then spread it on here. And you could even freeze it to create an enrichment bowl for your dog to lick. Remember, licking actually produces happy, calming, soothing hormones for dogs. So if you have an anxious dog or high energy puppy, this could be a great tool for them. Or I love to use something like the Diggs Superfood Peanut Butter. This is a pet safe peanut butter. And get this, there's no xylitol, no refined, low quality sugars, no fructose, and there's also no low quality oils. The only ingredients in this, and this is why it's green, are peanuts because it is a peanut butter spread that you could put on a lick mat or something like this, uh, or even dollop over the food, has a little bit of honey and it has spirulina, which is one of my favorite superfoods to give to dogs. And parsley, parsley is a known natural breath freshener. So I love the idea of my dog licking on something like this with this to help freshen their breath and then healthy coconut oil. So that's one of the most healthy peanut butter pet options I've seen. Or one of my favorite things to add on a lick mat like this or on top of my dog's food is goat whip. So goat whip is the first of its kind I've ever seen. And this is again, you could find this in your local pet shop. In fact, if you go look at the brand of this, it's made by Bones & Co., you will see me on their social media platform because I help them with training and I help with some of their social media content because I'm such a fan girl. It's taken raw goat milk and beef gelatin with some probiotics and it's created a scoopable doggy type ice cream. But what you'll notice on the ingredients is there's no added sugars, there's no stabilizers, there's no artificial ingredients at all. And you can take this and you can spread it on a licky mat bowl like this, or you can get your kneader feeder, which I have one right here just to show you. This is actually um, a two-in-one system to help contain mess when your dog is eating or drinking. Um, not sponsored, I just wanted to show it off because I think it's so cool by a small company meter feeder. And essentially what it is, is when your dog is eating and drinking, if they spill um, this high wall side, um, if they spill, this wall contains the mess, keeping it off your floors and walls. Uh, but if it spills down in the bowl, it drains down this and comes to this bottom piece so you can wipe it clean, which I think is a lot of fun. But what I love about this neater feeder is it comes with this stainless steel slow feeder. And I love my dogs eating slower because they're all big gulpers. Uh, because what that does is if they gulp too much food too fast, they can accidentally swallow too much air, which can lead to uh, upset stomach. Goat Whip is packed of healthy probiotics, uh, digestive enzymes, and believe it or not, 
electrolytes. So this is an excellent summer treat when your dog is running around the sun and you wanna help replenish them with electrolytes, like a doggy Gatorade, this would be a good option for them. And a lot of pet parents will ask me what probiotics I use. One of my favorite probiotics is by Just Thrive, again, linked below. This is an endospore probiotic. And all you do is I just take this capsule and I just break it in half. I just pull it apart and the powder will go into the food. I add a little bit of water and it's good to go. The reason I like this one is because it is protected by endospores, which actually helps protect the probiotic to make it more bioavailable to the dog. So you're just not wasting anything. And then people usually ask, well, how often do you add these things? How much do you add? So for all these items, they'll give specific serving sizes based on your dog's size. Things like probiotics, I typically give daily. Things like peanut butter, um, the dog-friendly peanut butter, I'll give maybe once a week, every other week is a fun treat. Things like these fish chews, I might give every day, every other day. And things like Bark Boost is like a date, you can give that daily or goat milk or goat whip. Those are things that can be given daily because they are so nutrient dense. And for me, I believe in variety. So I actually give my dogs a variety of different foods on top of their base food. And I'll talk about what I feed them in a minute. Uh, and what this does, in my opinion, for my dogs, is this just helps me have more peace of mind that they're actually getting all of the macro and micronutrients that they need. Plus, I like giving them different foods because they enjoy it. My dogs love to eat, so I love giving them different things to try and taste and explore. To me, this is a way to add enrichment to their life. And so while I give them these things to help with overall health, I also do it because it's just fun for them. Now let's talk about what I actually feed my dogs in the base of their bowl. Click the video right here after clicking subscribe and we'll jump over there together. Or if you want to learn more about brain games and how to tire our dogs mentally, click the video right here. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.